And what do you do to stop feeling down? And I'm talking specifically, not just down about anything, but down in regards to grief. Because, you know, we talk about grief a lot on this channel. But there's something I want to share with you right now that you can do that immediately kind of shifts your mindset so you can uh, almost get some kind of therapy and some kind of relief from the pain and devastation. Obviously, when we deal with the loss of a loved one, it's painful. But there's something I'm going to share with you right now. And actually, it's so simple. All you do is look Now, wherever you are, just look up. And whenever you look up, it is so difficult to think a negative thought, to have those those negative, painful thoughts that you might have been having beforehand. So this is something I learned a couple of years ago, and I shared it, and I just wanted to come on real quick, share it with you right now, because it's, it's just, it's simple, but then it's so powerful. And there's a, there's a science behind it as well, too, which I'm gonna share with you. So again, all you do is look up, and wherever you are, looking up and it's going to be hard for you to think of a negative thought now i'm looking up at actually some beautiful trees and some nice sky and some scenery outside so it's pretty by itself but even if you don't have that kind of a, a view as you look up it's still hard to think of a negative thought now i'm actually attempting to think right now of a negative thought and i can't think of one how about you so why this works it's you know i i, I shared this before but we really have almost like a, a self-healing mechanism that we were created with, that God created us with. And through the use of our senses, and what the senses do, and we're talking about senses, you have your sight, you have your hearing, you have your smell, you have your taste, you have touch as well too, the five major senses. Your senses are like neural pathways to your brain. So it actually can affect your thoughts, it can affect your entire body, because your brain even controls so much of your body as well too. So the senses is, is pathways into our brain and sight is one way we actually can send messages to our brain and by looking and seeing something like I'm looking at some waterfall have you ever been in a situation where you just saw something that was beautiful and it kind of just calmed you down it, it you felt tranquil you felt relaxed sometimes you know looking for me looking at like trees and and like scenery like I, I like to drive to Pennsylvania up here we're in New Jersey which is close to Pennsylvania I like to drive to Pennsylvania and when I get to the drive to Pennsylvania, then I can see the trees and the mountaintops. And for that, for me, it's just like totally relaxing, just seeing that. Some people like to look at the, the waterfall. Some people like to look at like beautiful artwork or things like that. But our sight, and I'm just gonna talk about sight for today. Our sight is one of the senses that God has given to us that it can be therapeutic for us. So in the time of grief, and yes, we feel down, we feel pain, but this is something that can give you some serious relief in just a matter of a few seconds by looking up. Remember, what we see is going to actually affect how we feel. You know, how many times we saw something and it wasn't so pleasant and we started to feel like icky. But now we can use it in a positive way when we know about it to actually look and see something that's going to make us feel good. Now, the looking up part, I, I don't even really know the science of this, to be honest. Somebody told me about this years ago and I practiced it and it's worked. The science behind it, I don't know, but I'll tell you, actually it's in the Bible principle. It says, the scripture says, I will look to the hills from whence comes my help. So someone is looking up to the hills and guess what they're saying they're getting from that? They're getting some help. And it says, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So the help comes from the most high God. And by looking up where somehow, and I can't say I understand why, but you know, I, I fly airplane, don't fully know why it works. If it works, it works. I'm happy that it works. So we look up and it just helps us to not have those down, depressing thoughts. So, you know, this is a temporary, temporary uh, fix. So it's, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say maybe temporary. It's an immediate fix that can help you from feeling down and feeling sad. And now remember, I'm talking about in, this, in the sense of a person that's grieving or when we're going through you know, the, the sadness and the sorrow, that's the mourning associated with grief. But it really actually works for any negative experiences or feelings that we might have when we're feeling just down. I remember even too, when we learned even doing some physical exercise that when you're looking down, it actually makes the weight harder for you. So as you're exercising, or you're doing squats or whatever it is, you should look up and you're gonna pick yourself up you're gonna get actually be able to lift more weights or do the exercise longer I remember too actually and this is interesting 
uh, with my dad, who was, and I've shared about him many times, uh, he transitioned in 2017, and he was one of the ones, even though I went through the grieving process with, but when he was alive and he was not feeling well, he was like walking, but he was always looking down. So I would encourage him to look up, pick your head up. And for him, he did it and it, he perked up a little bit, but then I noticed when he was feeling down and he wasn't feeling well, his head was down because he was looking down. So this thing really works by looking up. And I just wanted to jump on here really quickly because it's so important. I want to get to you as quickly as possible so you can hopefully use this for yourself. Just look up. Remember the senses. And this is just the one with sight. Now I am going to come back on and share the rest of them as well too. Uh, maybe I'll do a teaching with all of them together. But I just want to do you know, sight for today. So looking up is something that's going to help you to lift up your spirits but then also finding things that you like to look at that it brings peace to you like i said for me it's it's the mountains and things like that but it's really what is pleasing to you to look at and everyone is going to be a little bit different so you might you know like looking at again like painting or some kind of a drawing or you know, things like that so you know take advantage of it now that you know it i like how i used to say it back when i was younger and uh, G.I. Joe and said knowing is half the battle. So now that you know about this tool that God has given to us, Most High God has given to us to, to bring some self-healing to us during grief, take advantage of it, use it, look up and fix your eyes on things that are going to um, relax you and to make you feel good. That's it for today. I'll see you on the next one.